In a world obsessed with financial success, understanding the true nature of money becomes essential. Morgan Housel's The Psychology of Money offers a refreshing perspective on this complex subject. Housel, a renowned financial writer, delves into the often overlooked psychological aspects of money management, shedding light on how our minds influence our financial decisions. This book is not about complex investment strategies or market predictions. Instead, it focuses on the human behaviors and biases that significantly impact our financial well-being. Housel explores how emotions like fear, greed, and happiness can drive our financial choices, often leading to unexpected outcomes. He argues that understanding these psychological factors is crucial for making sound financial decisions. By recognizing our own biases, we can better navigate the financial landscape. Housel emphasizes that financial success is not solely determined by intelligence or expertise, but by our relationship with money and our ability to manage our emotions. Through compelling anecdotes and insightful observations, Husserl illustrates how our personal experiences shape our financial habits. The psychology of money provides a roadmap to navigate the complexities of personal finance with a focus on our own behavior, offering practical advice to improve our financial health and achieve long-term success. One of the book's central themes is that financial success is more about behavior than technical knowledge. While understanding the technical aspects of finance is important, it is our behavior and mindset that ultimately determine our success or failure in the financial world. Husserl argues that even with a deep understanding of investment strategies, our own psychology can sabotage our financial goals. This means that no matter how much we know about the markets, our emotions can still lead us astray. He highlights the common pitfalls of emotional decision-making, such as fear and greed, which often lead to poor financial outcomes. These emotions can cloud our judgment and cause us to make decisions that are not in our best interest. For example, investors driven by fear might sell their investments during a market downturn, locking in losses. This reaction is often a result of panic and a lack of confidence in the market's ability to recover. Conversely, those driven by greed might make impulsive investments, chasing high returns without considering the risks involved. This can lead to significant financial losses when the investments do not perform as expected. Housel emphasizes the importance of developing emotional discipline and making rational decisions based on long-term goals. By staying calm and focused, we can avoid the traps of emotional decision-making. He suggests that understanding our own biases and developing strategies to mitigate their impact is crucial for making sound financial choices. This involves being aware of our tendencies and creating a plan to counteract them, ensuring that our decisions are based on logic and not emotion. A household challenges the notion that financial success is solely a result of hard work and intelligence. He acknowledges the significant role of luck and risk in shaping financial outcomes. He argues that while hard work and smart decisions are essential, they don't guarantee success. Housel emphasizes the importance of recognizing the role of chance and accepting that we cannot control all variables in the financial world. He encourages readers to avoid attributing all successes solely to skill and all failures to bad luck. Instead, he suggests focusing on what we can control, our savings rate, investment strategy and risk tolerance. Section 4. The Long Game, Patience and Time, Your Greatest Financial Allies the psychology of money emphasizes the importance of long-term thinking and patience in building wealth. Housel argues that our desire for instant gratification often leads to short-sighted financial decisions. He highlights the power of compounding, where even small savings can grow exponentially over time. Husserl encourages readers to adopt a long-term perspective, focusing on slow and steady growth rather than chasing quick profits. He emphasizes that building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint, and that patience is key to achieving financial freedom. Section 5, Shaped by Experience, How Our Past Influences Our Financial Present. Housel delves into the profound impact of personal experiences on our financial decisions. 
He argues that our upbringing, cultural background, and past financial experiences shape our beliefs and attitudes towards money. For example, someone who grew up in poverty might have a different risk tolerance than someone who grew up in affluence. Housel emphasizes the importance of recognizing how our past experiences influence our financial behavior. He encourages readers to challenge their assumptions and make conscious decisions based on their current circumstances and goals. Section 6. The power of less frugality as a path to financial freedom. The psychology of money highlights the significance of frugality and savings in achieving financial security. Housel argues that our spending habits are often driven by societal pressures and a desire for instant gratification. He encourages readers to adopt a more mindful approach to spending, focusing on needs rather than wants. Husserl emphasizes that saving money is not about deprivation, but about aligning our spending with our values and long-term goals. He suggests that by saving more, we gain greater financial freedom and flexibility in our lives. Section 7, Conclusion, Mastering the Money Game. It's more than just math. The psychology of money offers a compelling exploration of the human side of finance. It delves into how our emotions, biases and personal experiences shape our financial decisions, often in ways we don't even realize. Housel's key takeaway is that understanding our own psychology is crucial for making sound financial decisions. He argues that financial success is less about knowing the right numbers and more about understanding our own behaviors and tendencies. He emphasizes that financial success is not solely about intelligence or expertise, but about developing healthy financial habits and making choices aligned with our values and goals. This means setting realistic goals, being patient and staying disciplined. By recognizing the role of emotions, luck and personal experiences, we can navigate the complexities of money management with greater awareness and control. This awareness helps us avoid common pitfalls and make better decisions. The psychology of money is a must read for anyone seeking to improve their relationship with money and achieve financial well-being. It provides valuable insights that can help us all become more mindful and intentional with our finances, leading to a more secure and fulfilling financial future.